Dr. Ralston is <laughs> Test. You? It's finished. Everything all right? Not really. Not really with the baby? The oh, baby's all right. The test isn't dangerous or I wouldn't have taken it order or no order. I uh, wouldn't have asked. Yeah. Whatever you say. I mean, you know, you and I don't... We don't do very well, but you gotta trust me on this. I, uh... Sure. I would... I'm not gonna do anything to hurt this baby. Ever. Eating, sleeping. I'm all right. How the quarter man's treating you? Edward was extra solicitous today. He offered to come with me, hold my hand. Wow, what's his angle? You know, that off chance a baby might be Jason's. Or the gardeners, or Reginald's, or the guy who prunes the trees. Anybody but you. You're not saying there's a chance no, that... A chance. Nobody gets that about me, you know? I'm, I mean, maybe I hate my husband, but it doesn't mean I sleep around, you know? Okay, so I occasionally lose my mind, but it doesn't happen every day. Not like, you know, what happened with us. I got it, I got it. You got what? But, um, the... Uh... The guy who prunes the Quartermain's trees uh, wouldn't end up in your bed. Why, because he doesn't make enough money? Uh, no, because uh, you're not a slut. I know. I mean, I, I've called your names, and it uh, doesn't mean I meant them all. Excuse me. The doctor is ready for you now. OK, I'll be there in a second. Sure. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. Take care of yourself. I try. Thanks. Yeah. I, I gotta see you. Yeah, I just gotta talk to you. What's wrong with you? It's cold out here. How long have you been waiting? You couldn't offer a chair? My What's instructions wrong? were never to let well, her Well, your rest. instructions are, are change as of now. You don't, you don't keep a pregnant lady standing in the hall. You get what I'm saying? Got it. OK. Sorry. Don't let it happen again. Why didn't you tell him? He's going to believe me? I don't hardly believe it myself yet. You want some hot chocolate, hot tea? No. I want something, but I need a lot more than that. Well, you're not going to drink alcohol. I'll I don't, I'm talking about a cocktail. Come I on. couldn't knock one back if I wanted to. Just tired, you know. I'm tired, man. You know, I'm bone tired. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, you want to stretch out? No, I want, I need some peace of mind. Where do I go to get that? Well, you, you came here. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious, right? It just goes to show you how desperate I am. Look, you're the one who told me I should take care of myself, right? Yeah. How am I supposed to do that when I'm being attacked on all fronts? I'm not attacking you. You are attacking I... me. You're trying to take my child from me. Away from the Quartermains. Well, Sonny, if I leave the Quartermains, then they're going to fight me for Michael. And if I stay with them, then you're going to fight me for the baby? What the heck am I supposed to do? Tear myself in half or something, you know? You know what? You what? shouldn't even talk like that. I'm being yanked in a zillion different directions. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you need to calm down is what you should do. I would when I calm down and decide which baby I want to keep. I'm not going to give up one of my kids. You know, so, somebody's going to have to cut me a break. So you want it to be me? I want, I want you to come up with an idea. You know, I want you to come up with some suggestions. I haven't heard one thing. Not one thing that works for everybody. You know what works for you? Works for the Quartermains? Doesn't work for me and my kids. You say you love Michael. What do you What do you want me to do? Then you want me to abandon my son? I'm sorry, Michael. Bye bye. Mommy's You're gonna make go? yourself sick, Carly. So what do I do? Well, Sonny? I don't know. You, we're, gonna, we're gonna figure it out. But you can't go to go to pieces. That's not gonna help. I mean, you know, 
You look exhausted. I mean, have you eaten? I just go today, you know, this afternoon or this morning or something. Well, I'll make you something. You're gonna cook for me now? What, you, you got a problem with that? <laughs> Besides disbelief, no. Okay, well, relax, lie down, close your eyes, I'll be back in a little bit. I've always hated fish. Now you tell me. No, I mean, I've never had smoked salmon before. Mm. In an omelet, especially. It's really good. <clears throat> it's delicious, actually. Thank you. No biggie, you know. You need a protein. It was quick. You feeling better? About smoked salmon? Yeah, sure. Future still looks kind of bleak, though. Then why not... Why not stop obsessing about the future and concentrate on the here and now? What should I do, Sonny? What do you think I should build myself a nice, safe place between you on one side and the quartermains on the other side? Would you stop lumping me with the quartermains? I'm nothing like them. Yeah, you're both trying to take my baby. From I'm not yourself. trying to take anything. I'm just demanding that you know I have a right to be in my own baby's life. I did, I, I grew up without a father. I, I'm not going to do that to my own kid. Yeah, well, I grew up without a father too. My my adoptive father took off. So. So what are you saying, that uh, you turned out all right? What are you saying, that a mother is <laughs> expendable? No. Only if she's me, right? I didn't say that. No, you did say that. You know what? You've said that many, many uh, times. All right, you know what? I, I, I take it back. I'm not going to take your baby from you. <laughs> is that I'm writing? Can you listen to my side for five seconds? <laughs> You're gonna give birth to my one and only child. Do you want me to press my nose to the quarter main gates and watch while they raise my kid? Fine. Then you need to get me out of there. The hitch is with Michael. Can you do that? He says he has to talk. How predictable of you to swoop down on this girl the moment my back is turned. Are you all right, dear? I'm fine, Eddie. I was just getting No, no, you don't and... need to explain. Coercion is what Sonny does best. Edward, you got two choices. You either let yourself out or wait till you're taken out. Oh, I have no wish to linger here. I only came to bring you this. As you can see, it's a restraining order keeping you 50 feet away from Carly. Nothing's going anywhere because the two of us haven't uh, finished discussing our, our child. No, Carly's done. You see, she has another child at home, and it isn't a good idea for her to be gone from Michael for too long a period of time because people might accuse her of being a neglectful mother. Oh, come on. It's a lie. You know, you don't have to go along with this. Carly, he's just trying to blackmail you. <laughs> Coming from you, that's almost funny. You take a look at that restraining order. It's very real. Now, you approach Carly, and you will be arrested immediately. And it will please me immeasurably, because it will destroy any hope you have of claiming this child. Come on, my dear, let's go. Thank you.